General Pipe Cleaner's Mini Rooter XP. The right machine for clearing small floor drains, roof vents, and other medium-sized drains. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using the Mini Rooter XP. It is not a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures, and it will not provide specific instructions for every application. For a complete list of safety procedures or for more specific instructions to solve your particular clogged drain problem, ask your dealer or call the Drain Brains at General or visit www.drainbrain.com. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Mini Rooter XP can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. To determine whether you're using the proper drain cleaning tool, you must first locate the source of the problem. If only one drain in the house is backed up, the clog is likely to be in the smaller line leading directly from that drain. If the clog is in a small floor drain, clean out, or accessible through a roof stack, the Mini Rooter XP is the appropriate tool to use. If several drains are affected, then the blockage is probably in a larger line common to those drains. If this is the case, then the Mini Rooter XP is not the right tool for the job. Do not use the Mini Rooter XP to clear tree roots. Consult your dealer or the drain brains at General for a model designed for larger drain lines. The Mini Rooter XP provides a safe, clean way to clear clogged drain lines. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is in place. Be sure the machine is plugged into a properly grounded outlet. Verify that the ground is connected. If the power cord is not long enough, use a three-wire heavy-duty extension cord. Make sure its grounding prong is in place. Using an ungrounded extension cord is very dangerous. Test the ground fault circuit interrupter before each use. Press the test button, then press the reset button. The light will indicate that it is operating properly. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris thrown from the rotating cable or drain opening. Wear only leather gloves to protect your hands while handling the cable. Never use any other type of glove, such as cloth, rubber, or coated gloves. Operating the Mini Rooter XP is a one-person job. Never have someone else operate the foot pedal. Never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Choosing the right cutters for your clogged drain problem is important. Your dealer will supply the appropriate tools for your needs. The arrowhead is ideal for cutting and scraping. The boring gimlet is used to remove loose objects. The inch and a half U-cutter and two inch side cutter blades are good finishing tools. They scrape the walls of the pipe for a more thorough cleaning job. The arrowhead and boring gimlet are good cutters to start with. Then change to the larger cutters after you've gotten the water flowing. Place the machine no farther than two feet from the drain opening to avoid cable whipping and kinking. If you can't place it that close to the drain, run the cable through a guide tube extension or metal pipe to prevent the cable from whipping. Loosen the knob on top of the power cable feed and pull three feet of cable out of the drum. Slide the guide tube over the cable and snap it into place on the feed. To attach a cutter, first turn off the power switch. Remove the screw and lock washer from the connector at the end of the cable. Slide the cutter into the slot, then replace the connecting screw and lock washer. Tighten the screw firmly. Make sure the air foot pedal is placed so you can reach it easily. Be sure you can quickly remove your foot from the pedal in an emergency. Before stepping on the pedal, position the end of the guide tube into the drain opening. 
Turn the power switch on the machine to the forward position. Tighten the knob on top of the feed so that the feed roller presses against the cable. Be sure not to over tighten since this will cause excessive cable wear. The feed lever controls the feeding rate and direction of the cable. Move the lever down to feed the cable into the line. The further the lever is moved downward, the faster the cable will feed out. Move the lever up to retract the cable into the drum. When the lever is in the middle or neutral position, the cable will spin in place. With one gloved hand on the guide tube and one on the feed control lever, feed the cable into the drain and against the obstruction with a firm, even pressure. Adjust the feeding rate to the resistance met. Do not force the cable into the drain. Let the cutter do the work. You won't clear the line any faster and you could damage the cable or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely as the drum rotates. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then, in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. If your hands are caught in a loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, stop by taking your foot off the pedal. Move the feed lever to the reverse position and retract the excess cable into the drum before continuing. Go slow. Again, do not force the cable. If your machine is equipped with a safety clutch, the drum could stop turning while the motor is still running. This means you're forcing the cable. The safety clutch will slip until you stop the machine and pull back on the cable. Retract any excess cable back into the drum. If you're having trouble getting around a bend in the line, move the feed lever from forward to reverse and back to move the cable back and forth until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. When the cable reaches the stoppage, put the feed in neutral. Then allow the cable to progress forward slowly, chewing into the stoppage as it goes. This slow forward movement will reduce stress on the cable while doing a more thorough cleaning job. Always keep the motor switch in the forward position, whether you are feeding cable into the drain or pulling it out. Use reverse only to release the cable if it gets stuck. If the cable gets stuck, switch the motor to reverse. With gloved hands on the guide tube, run the machine while pulling up on the cable. Do not run the machine in reverse for more than a few seconds at a time, as this can damage the cable. If your machine is equipped with a momentary contact reverse switch, you must hold the switch while running the motor in reverse. When the cable pulls free, put the motor switch back and forward. Continue slowly working the cable into the line until the drain is clear. Run water into the drain to wash away any cuttings and clean off the cable. After the drain has been cleared, retract the cable into the drum by moving the power cable feed lever up. Make sure the motor switch is still in the forward position. When you get close to the end of the cable, stop the machine and pull the cable out of the drain carefully. Never retract the cutting tool from the drain while the cable is rotating. The cable could whip and cause serious injury. If you leave the machine unattended, switch the machine off and pull out the plug. To keep this machine operating smoothly, the cable, feed rollers, and all bearings must be lubricated regularly. See the instruction manual for a complete list of safety procedures, operating instructions, and maintenance requirements. If you have any questions or difficulties, ask your dealer or call the Drain Brains at General or visit www.drainbrain.com. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.